Hey, what's up? What's happening? Ah, the slick pastor here. So I'd just like to share a very quick message. It may not really be like one of those inspirational videos that we usually do. Uh, but maybe it's a daughter who's not going to go back to someone. And uh, my message is uh, specifically directed to parents. Um, I know that I'm not a parent, so I'm not really in any position to coach you or train you uh, on how to, 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 to parent your children. But probably some of my experiences and observations as a child may uh, give you some things to you know, just pick up from, uh, which can be of some assistance in just raising children and treating people in general. So uh, you know, a lot of times, one of the messages that I stand for a lot is I always tell people not to compare themselves with other people. I always tell people to mind your business, to work on yourself, to improve um, your skills, to discover who you are and to be proud of who you are. That's one of the things that I strongly stand for and I'm always saying it again and again. So just doing my research and a bit of thinking around that issue, I also realized that um, one of the reasons why it's very difficult for us as we grow up to be proud of who we are and to train ourselves not to compare with the person who is next to us. I usually say this in the context of a, don't buy a car, cannot, don't buy a new pair of shoes because you want to be better than the next person or don't wait to celebrate your success because someone else is doing better than you. That's usually the context I shared uh, within. Um, but then as I was thinking as to why it's so hard for people to just, you know, mind their own business, to be proud of who they are, and to stop comparing themselves with other people. There are a lot of things I, I, I came across. The internet is one of those things, you know, and Instagram and all that, because our, um, people's lives are constantly in our face. So subconsciously, you're trying to keep up with the things that you see on a daily basis, what you see everybody else doing. Is it the actual reality of their lives? And then secondly, one of the strongest reasons is our upbringing as children, our childhood. See, here's one thing not all the time, and not all parents do this, but sometimes parents or older people can say, Ah, why is number 15? Or I don't know, maybe I don't know, maybe So usually I know that parents don't do that to mock, but they do it from an honest heart. They are just trying to push you. That is the, the, the goal. So the motive is very sincere. But the execution of that desire, usually the effect on the children is, uh, you, when you think it's going to motivate us, what it actually does is it instills a mind of competition in the mind uh, of your child or of that person. So that's why taka, uh, a lot of people talk about teaching off about the disco gona kushikira so people are never satisfied even with good things that they achieve because a, 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 a system and a way of thinking was inculcated in them against envy especially as a child growing up because when you're a little child, you don't reason like at that level. So let me work hard. No, you don't reason like that. As a little child, you don't reason like that. They would have no reference or anything to talk about. So you see where I'm coming from. So um, my, my, my encouragement, try to motivate and to push children without comparing them to the next person. Like I said earlier on, I'm not an expert. I might get a lot of backlash for this. Ah, you are with your great one and stuff like that. But I'm telling you my experiences and observations as a child. This is the effect that is it has upon our minds. And That's why you find but they're in constant competition. 
when there is seriously no point to be competing with anybody else because God made you to be you. Uh, God created you to be you, to do what you do and to, to just be unique in your own way and to focus on your own hustle. So the, the, the whole time you all pay that you funga with the right in a song cannot up and if you see that person constantly progressing, don't pantanga maku because the next thing pacha discuss on your money ah scholarship UK. So, I mean, I don't know why. I just felt that I had to share this because it's something that I've been thinking about over a long time and I couldn't wait to do like a proper video talking about it. So yeah, come on right now.